Hey water signs, this is Ascension Empress with your July or your weekend reading for July 17th to the 19th. And thank you for all your love and your support. Welcome if you are new. And this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. I'll be using the Talima Tarot deck. I may clarify with the right away or the mother piece. So yes, may peace and blessings be upon everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, moon, or rising. Or whatever placement you find resonates with you. Let's see what messages we have for the weekend. July 17th through the 19th for my water signs. Ooh. Not just money on your mind, but independence, you know, even wanting to take like a little mini vacay, wanting to spend a little bit of what you've accumulated, what you've worked hard for, what you've worked di diligently for. Um, I do get the energy of four, you know, the stability. And it's just like you've accomplished that you've completed multiple cycles. I do get Taurus energy. Let's see what message? do we have in relation to this nine of pentacles mm, and that's why <laughs> so the seven of pentacles and the eight of cups i'm getting that for many of my water signs you may be at a point where you've accumulated you know you've been again i say you've master cycles you've been here before you've been at the seven of pentacles before because you're already at the nine and now you're like hmm should i take this somewhere else should i take my aura my energy you know my gift what i have to offer in this world should i take this somewhere else you know and really contemplating but contemplating with good intent you know contemplating with an energy of it's beyond me you know, because you left the seven of cups stage and you decided to pursue another cup with the eight. And with this full moon, it could be referring to this full moon lunar eclipse that we had in Capricorn, especially um, conjunct, <laughs> conjunct Saturn, Pluto and Jupiter. And it shook up a lot of people's world. It shook up the world, okay? And it's going to play a, a huge role where many people are going to have to take this Eight of Cups journey. You know, for many of my water signs, I do get that it's you are choosing to move on from something. You are choosing to take a different route, even if it's not so crowded. You know, if it's not so mainstream. Um, because there is a change in a direction. Others you're having to walk away you know there i'm getting there's maybe a cut in someone's pay you went from the nine of pentacles to the seven like there's a cut like mm, i don't have to walk away because that's not what i signed up for or you know even laid off so let's see what messages do we have for my water signs weekend 17 to the 19. Mm. Wow. We like refreshing, very refreshing. You you go for one more cup with the eight of cups and then boom, ace, beyond the nine and the ten. So for many of you who decided to walk away from something, you did so with integrity, you did so with something on your mind, something you know you're gifted at, you're passionate, you know, something that you want to really work hard for and it's just like you know what's on the other side you know after all this hard work after this long day you gonna have a nice cup of water okay a nice cup of water because you know what you walked away from you know the sacrifice you made yeah because the the new moon in cancer is actually taking place on monday so after this weekend People are really beginning to implement, again, more cancer energy on a, on a higher degree. With it 28 degrees, you know, we just had the lunar eclipse take place following the new moon solar eclipse at zero degrees cancer. Mm -hmm. Many of you have come to some clarity. You know, you're, you're seeing very clearly now, especially, yeah, 
because with this Mercury and Cancer leaving its storm on the new moon, and then it's just like you come right into Leo season the same day and the next day, you know it's time. You know it's time to build. And the judgment card don't even have to be here. It popped out in like almost every monthly reading. So, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Many of you are so ready to take action. You could be dealing with the fire sign um, or sending out or receiving some type of fast communication. Um, night inner, well, I was going to say night entertainment. Mm. So someone with night-like energy could be trying to entertain you or someone may want some type of entertainment in the evening, okay? And you may have to set the record straight like, mm, no, I'm focused on my pentacle. I'm not about to get in the way of all that I've invested because even if it's some of you are moving, it's uh, I do get online dating or some type of online app as well. Um, be mindful, but I just get that you're more so focused on hard work. It's like, you know that you made a sacrifice and you're making a change in the direction for a reason, for um, progression, for multi you multiply. There, you don't need any distraction. This air and this water, I love it. I love it, especially with us coming from cancer to fire energy. Like, <laughs> mm, and you're hermit too, like many people. What's I just doing? Gemini. They had Aries and Gemini had huge hermit energy, and it's interesting because Mars is in Aries, but. You know, you have a sword as well. Queen of Swords come out straight off the gate with this Knight of Swords energy. But then someone is reconciling with themselves. They're forgiving them themselves. They're finding answers for themselves. And this may be attracting a Knight of Swords energy, like really poking, really trying to not even... Maybe for some, they're not trying to distract you, but they are trying to contact you. Um, they are trying to get your attention in some type of way. We have the page of wands here in the past. And I get, you know, you leaving that behind. Like, you know, I'm focused on bigger and better. I have a new mindset. I want to progress my mindset. You know, I get huge reading energy with this hermit energy. Um, personal development, maybe even when it comes to finance as well. So let's see, let's clarify with the right away. What is the overall message that we have for my water signs for the weekend of July 17th through the 19th? Okay, six of cups again. What is behind this? Wow, yes. So if there is some type of separation, because we have the hermit card, but there is forgiveness. So someone, you or you and someone else may have to forgive within yourselves before you can come together and move forward whether together or apart you know but there is a balance here there's a balancing of the scales this is a very karmic time with saturn and capricorn retrograde and then come virgo season you know things are really going to really really progress and show it but there is a time someone's walking away someone's moving on um i do get delay and separation it's for a reason. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. So that is your reading. Thank you so much again for your love and your support. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care.